Hello everyone, my review today is called Blood in 2022. Here's the storyline. Jess, a separated mother and nurse, moves with her daughter and young son Owen back into her old farmhouse. Shortly after settling in, Owen is bitten by the dog and resulting in a mysterious infection from the bite. Directed by Brad Anderson, written by Will Honley. Here's the cast. Michelle Montague as Jess. Skeet Ulrich as Patrick. Finley Wojak Hisong as Owen. June B. Wilde as Helen. Skylar Morgan Jones as Tyler. Denica Frederick as Shelley. And Jennifer Rose Garcia as Candace. And the cast goes on. Folks, here's a movie that I knew nothing about. I was curious when I mentioned about a dog bite and the boy makes changes. Wow. I was in for a surprise, actually. Again, mother, son, daughter moves into her own home as a kid. And they had a dog. But in the backyard, way back in the woods, there was this, I would say, probably a dead-looking tree with a pond with no water. I call it the... Um, it's more like a an evil tree, per se. The dog um, and, the, and the two went to go fishing, but there was no water. But something attracted the dog to run towards a tree. It gets stuck in the mud, so forth. The kids run back with the dog and whatever. Well, the dog ended up running away. It saw something, and it was gone for like a day or two, and it comes back, and it's now like a rabid dog, but it wasn't rabies. The boy, who loves his dog, thought the dog was, the dog's back, the dog's back, and the dog attacks the boy and bites him. And of course the dog is now dead, because they killed the dog. Well, Owen starts changing. And when I say changing, he can't eat human food. It has to be blood. Now, the mother is stuck in a bad situation. She is a nurse. So she's able to get plasma, steal it, and take it home and feed her son. Well, the hospital realized that something was going on with the plasma missing, and now she can't get any more. Now it's phase two. Does she kill someone? Does she catch someone? Does she take blood for her from herself? Which she did. But now that's making her tired, obviously, of constantly keep taking blood from her self to give her son to drink and it has to be warm and so forth now you have a father uh, an ex-husband Patrick who is a complete fucking dick he has no idea what's going on I know the, the mother had past drug use and children youth involved and he's trying to take the kids from her well during visitations now that Owen has his problem with drinking blood the daughter finally found out and flipped out, but because she knew, she kept it hidden from her dad and wife and so forth. This is how the story is going. It's a really put together nice film. Well, eventually, the father gets custody of the kids. Not knowing what is going on, because it's not her. Well, let's say all hell breaks loose. Wow. An amazing film. The boy acts, he becomes uncontrollable and dangerous because now he's trying to kill his sister for the blood. That being said, it's a well put together film. Great ending. I don't want to say no more than that because I don't want to ruin the film for you guys. But Blood in 2022, well shot, well acted, a great storyline. It's a fun film. It really is. Definitely check it out. Blood 2022. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. Hopefully you will too. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.